Hi there fans. So I just got back walking to the store because it's a really nice cloudy and warm day, which are my favorite kind of days. I like cloudiness so the sun doesn't like glare into your face and your eyes. So that's the cloudiness and I like the warmth of the weather because that way I can just wear short sleeves and not be freezing to death. As you can see, I don't have a lot of fat to keep me warm. So anyway, what did I get? What did I get? So I don't want to gross anyone out, but I know a lot of people, well, maybe not, but my son for one can't stand this food and I love this food and I would eat this food all the time, but the thing is he hates it and he thinks it's gross. You want to know what it is? I don't understand why anyone would hate this food. Okra. I love okra. I am going to put this into my slow cooker. Okay, and I'm going to cook this puppy down until it's slimy and mushy and soft and spicy. I make it super spicy and he hates spicy food and he hates mushy food and he hates slimy food and I love this food. It is so good for you. I'm going to make a Indian style spicy okra in the slow cooker. It's going to be so good. I'm probably going to eat all almost half of this today for dinner with my dinner and then the other half probably tomorrow. Um, yeah, it'll be cooked way down, but it'll just be really, really, really good. So it's good because it's good for you because I have heard, I've read that it does help detox things like aluminum. And in case you don't know my aluminum story, how I was exposed to a lot of it, you should see my other videos. It is crazy how much aluminum I was getting exposed to without even knowing it. No wonder I had pulsatile tinnitus. No wonder it was the aluminum affecting my brain. You can't make this shit up. If I would have known that product had that much aluminum in it, you know what? And because I'm detoxing from aluminum, I won't even touch cheese knowing how much aluminum is in that stuff. American cheese. Yeah. Look it up yourself. And that, no, that's not what, what caused my pulsatile tinnitus. It was aluminum in a drink that I was drinking. Okay. So raspberries are another one of my favorite. I'll just eat these just the way they are, or I'll put them in yogurt or I'll put them in my chia seed pudding. Um, yeah, but I'll probably just, or yeah, that's the, my main favorites. But I just like to eat them as they are, though. And I got this um, in-store made. I like this. It's super fresh. And I got this as uh, either for my salad that I might have later or the artichokes that I bought because I need something to dip the artichoke in. So I got, and I got garlic. This is not bleach. This is not from China. This is with that then you know it's not bleached and you know it's not china but if they don't if it doesn't have this then you know it's the bad kind you don't want bleached garlic okay you want the kind with the sprouts at the bottom so i got a bunch of this because i love garlic i put it in pretty much everything and of course the artichokes fortunately my son does like artichokes so i get some nutrition in him this way an artichoke is the, one of the best foods also to detox from heavy metals. It helps your liver tremendously. And I will boil these. I will bake these. They will be delicious. And let's see. By the way, everything I got came to about $45 with tax. And all this is about as much as I could carry. I got two of the Synergy Kabuchas. I got two of those. i got to be careful. You don't want to shake these. But... I don't drink like the whole thing at once. It usually will take me a couple days to finish one. So I might drink half for dinner and then another half for tomorrow for dinner or whatever. Usually it's just dinner time. I have a little bit of that. And he doesn't like kombucha, but he does like, I don't know. He likes this kind of stuff. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. He just never grew up. But anyway, he likes that. And then I also, because I couldn't find nothing that was in glass for him. Actually, I could find one thing in glass. I don't like him drinking from plastic. He doesn't drink soda either. But I also got my son. This is about the only thing I could find in glass that he will drink. That's the sparkling cider. He'll drink that. So that's his. And 
this is mine. This is the last. Oh, wait, I got two more things left. Prune juice. Also has lots of B vitamins, good for detoxing. I'll drink maybe a cup of this a day. I don't drink the coconut water in a box anymore because that's, that's what, you know. I'll never drink coconut water in a box again. This cap is where I was getting my aluminum exposure from. It was flaking off into the water. You can't make this shit up. I saw a huge piece floating just by by sheer luck. I just, oh, oh my God. What is that? A piece of fucking aluminum in my water. No wonder I've been sick for a year oh, and with low immunity. You can't make this shit up. I don't eat candy ever, ever, ever. My son, he's addicted to chocolate. He's a chocoholic, so yeah. If I don't get him that, he'll go crazy. He won't leave me alone. He'll be like, I need chocolate. Oh God, I don't know why. Okay, that's my grocery haul. I just carried all this stuff home. I'm a little bit sweaty. That's good, I'm detoxing from all the aluminum I've been drinking for the past year. Yeah, take care.